So, since it does run now, let's put this other blade on here and see uh, see if this will work. bit of oil. I don't want this to get stuck on there. If it's not already stuck on there. Ah, tisk. A little bit of non-detergent, non-fan bearing oil mortar in here. Whatever. So I'm actually one of the bearings, so now this is probably going to come up and lock up sooner than it would have. Alright, that's good enough to uh, tighten the set screw. Where's the Allen keys? Here's the Allen keys. This Allen key is too long. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Have any shorter Allen keys? Yes. Now this one is too big, I think. That one's way too big. Well, all right, I have to get out some more tools here. Or you know what, I think we're just going to live dangerously and run it up without the set screw in place. And if you never see this video, you'll know what happened. Oh gosh, this blade's even more out of balance than the other one was. Let's see if I can fix that real quick. Jeez, I think I just made it worse here. Try that. It's not perfect, but it should be a little bit better, I think. Perhaps not. Alright, we'll go on with it. Oh, that's much better. That already moves more air than it did before. Actually, it runs pretty smooth, too. so much more air than it did before. Although this blade is not putting enough weight on the motor because you can hear there's very little difference in speeds. So let's add a little bit more pitch to these blades and of course the, the blade is already jacked up. I wouldn't do this with a blade that was in good condition but this blade is not in good condition anyways. Try that. That may have been a little bit too much. Seems pretty good. I can't believe how much more air it moves with this little this little metal blade than it does with the big plastic blade. 
That's incredible. I'm going to see if I can find that other blade I was mentioning before, the plastic one from the Lasco fan. Here's the other blade I mentioned. I think it's a quarter inch shaft. It's about the same size as this blade. This is conductive. Um, did that just break? Oh my gosh! <laughs> that is pitiful. The whole thing just caved in. Oh, for heaven's sakes. See if this blade will go on. It will. Alright, let's power it up and see what happens. Yeah, that throws out a lot of air actually. Again, probably even more than it does with the plastic blade on there, or this blade that it came with. Well, that's truly incredible. Before I close out the video, I do want to show it with one more different blade on it, which I'm going to try. I don't know if I can get this to fit, but I don't think that's going to work. This is going to spin on there. Um, Maybe I can jam something in the shaft to make it steady. Because if I could put a different shaft into this motor, perhaps I could use it to uh, resurrect an oscillating fan or something. Because I don't think this box fan is worth repairing. It's pretty rare that I deem something not worthwhile, but uh, the airflow is just so pitiful out of this thing. This may be one of those cases. That also moves far more air than it did originally, but I think that's not enough load on the motor. Yeah, this, this fan is outrageous. It has some nicer things than the 3733, you know, the fuse plug is replaceable. The motor has oil ports, so it was relatively easy to get going again at least. But, you know, as far as the uh, performance goes, it's it's abysmal. And maybe this blade is warped. That That could very well be the case but I don't know, I can't say for certain. Um, but what I can say for certain is as it stands right now, this thing is terrible.